approach to tackling homelessness is taking root in Longview. Some wonder if this approach could be used in other areas. The city recently required more than 100 people living in an encampment on city land to sign a good neighbor policy after the city said the camp was getting out of hand. Fox Bowl's Adrian Thomas is live for us in Longview tonight with reaction from both sides on this. Adrian. <laughs> Well, Stephanie, this is a copy of the good neighbor policy. City officials are asking those who live in the Alabama street camp to sign. Now, the, agree the agreement imposes a 10 p.m. curfew. It outlaws any drugs, firearms, or alcohol in the camp, and it also prohibits people from having any visitors. Now, the city is pairing this agreement with giving folks who live in the camp access to outreach workers, but some people in the camp are telling us tonight they feel the city's not doing enough for them under this agreement. The Alabama street camp has been in place since 2019, according to the city's police chief. But since then, it has exploded to more than 100 residents. Now, the city of Longview is adding restrictions on the camp, fencing it off and requiring people to sign this good neighbor policy. It's either sign it or go nowhere. J.D. Powell has lived in the camp for the last few years. He says he feels this good neighbor policy reaches too far. For others living in the camp, the extra involvement by city officials is welcomed. There may be, according to these people, some drastic measures being taken, but it's absolutely necessary right now. There's been a lot of violence. But for J.D. Powell, he feels if camp residents must sign the agreement, then more needs to be offered. Do you feel like the city's honoring their end of this agreement by giving you guys resources? Well, I have not seen the resources yet. There's nothing really here helping us get an extra leg up. You know what I mean? I mean, there's nobody here knocking on the door and saying, hey, you guys want jobs? Longview Police Chief Robert Huda is overseeing the implementation of the good neighbor policy. He says those who break the rules get kicked out and aren't allowed to return. And they don't abide by them after we were trying to work with them with a plan then we will trespass them from the camp. Huda says the no visitor policy hasn't gone over well with those who live in the camp, but he says it's necessary to stop crime. Unfortunately, um, we have seen individuals come down and prey on those vulnerable individuals in the encampment. Um, so that is kind of the stance that we have to take is, is about safety. Now, Chief Huda also tells me the city is in the process of building tiny homes that the people who live in the camp right now will eventually be able to use. Those, he says, will be completed by November. Chief Huda also adds he hopes that everyone who signed the good neighbor policy will ultimately be helped out immensely in the long run because of the access to the outreach workers and different programs that will be provided to them. Live in Longview, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon. Adrian.